Well, tonight marks two weeks until Election Day. Like we've seen in Indiana, a lot of people are choosing instead to vote early, and people are doing that across the country. Bree Jackson takes a look at how both campaigns now are trying to get people to go to the polls. Millions of Americans across the country eagerly casting their ballots as more states begin early voting. Everyone is talking about this election. This is the biggest election in about eight years. Former President Obama campaigning in Wisconsin to help kick off early voting there as the Harris Walls campaign unleashes its top surrogates during this final stretch. Harris seeking to reach more voters on her own by taking part in more media interviews, including with NBC News. Former President Trump doing outreach across voting blocks, holding multiple events with faith leaders and Latino voters. I don't know, but I don't know, but it's going to be close. Trump is also attempting to raise doubts about this year's election while admitting he's seen no evidence of fraud. Have either of you seen any cheating, incidents of cheating that leads you to believe that this election will not be fair? Well, I haven't. Election officials and law enforcement releasing this ad warning of consequences for election interference. What will not be tolerated is acts of violence or intimidation. Celebrities are raising alarms about deep fakes designed to mislead Americans. This voter expressed confidence that their voice will be heard. I feel like my, my vote is safe. With voting underway in a tight race, officials stress there are systems in place to ensure every vote is counted. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. U.S. intelligence agencies warn that Russia now is continuing its efforts to undermine our elections. That includes circulating false stories, attempting to incite violence, and calling into question the validity of the democracy.